Hey, that's rad, man. This must be 1990s trivia. Let's get more smartest. Who won the 1993 Grammy for Best New Artist? Nirvana, Arrested Development, Radiohead, or Alanis Morissette? It was Arrested Development. Winning the Grammy for Best New Artist is usually considered the kiss of death. Astronaut John Glenn went back to space on October 29, 1998. How old was he? 37, 47, 77, or 27? He was 77. The first American to orbit Earth became the oldest to do it nearly four decades later. What should you do right now? Subscribe, like, share, or comment on my rad video. All of these things, of course. Come on, you can do it. I'll wait for you. On August 31, 1997, this amazingly popular woman was killed in a car accident in Paris. Indira Gandhi, Princess Diana, Margaret Thatcher, or Anna Nicole Smith. It was Princess Diana. Prior to being Princess, Diana Spencer was a part-time cleaning lady and babysitter. At the 71st Academy Awards held on March 21, 1999, what movie won Best Picture? Schindler's List, Titanic, The English Patient, or American Beauty? It was American Beauty. American Beauty was inspired by Amy Fisher and Joey Buttafuoco. What website started life as a gallery of actresses with beautiful eyes? eBay, YouTube, Tinder, or IMDb? It was IMDb. Started in 1990, IMDb is one of the oldest websites. Los Del Rio released this popular dance hit in 1993. The Hustle, Macarena, Baby Shark, or Boot Scootin' Boogie. The Macarena, of course. Stayed on the billboards for 46 weeks. What was the highest grossing movie of the 1990s decade? Home Alone, Forrest Gump, Titanic, or Toy Story 2? Titanic. Don't laugh at home alone, it beat Toy Story 2. In a Rolling Stone magazine survey, three of these 1990s bands were voted worst of the 90s. Nirvana, Dave Matthews, Hanson, or Sugar Ray. Nirvana, Dave Matthews, and Hanson. Think about it, Rolling Stone readers prefer Sugar Ray to Nirvana. Can you name the top single TV episode of the 1990s? 21 Jump Street finale? The Cheers finale? Frasier gets married? Or Friends, the one I need? The Cheers finale. 93 million people watched the final show. On June 17, 1994, Al Cowlings was seen driving his white Ford Bronco with this passenger. O.J. Simpson? Refrigerator Perry, Larry Bird, or Jeff Bagwell. Orenthal James Simpson. Who was the best-selling musical group in 1999? Prince and the Revolution, The Get Up Kids, Destiny's Child, or The Backstreet Boys? The Backstreet Boys. They sold nearly 10 million copies of Millennium. What was the best-selling car in the 90s? The Jeep Cherokee, the Ford Taurus, the Chevy Monte Carlo, or the Honda CVCC? It was the Ford Taurus. This car sold extremely well through 2005. 
All 72,000 tickets sold out in three hours when the Freddie Mercury tribute concert was announced in 1992. Who was scheduled to play? Brian Adams, Elton John, The Who, or no one? Absolutely no one. Throughout the 90s, what was the most popular snack with kids and adults alike? Bananas, Slim Jims, apples, or fruit roll-ups? It was fruit roll-ups, and they had absolutely no real fruit in them. In 1994, Duff McKeegan Former bassist of Guns N' Roses decided to invest $100,000 in local Seattle companies. Which three did he put money in? Alaska Air, Starbucks, Amazon, or Microsoft? Starbucks, Amazon, and Microsoft. Yep, he made a few bucks. In 1995, Windows 95 was only the second most installed piece of software on computers. What was number one? Doom, Excel, Corel Draw or Lotus 123. Doom is often considered the original first person shooter. One of the most popular songs of the 90s was actually a B side release and accidentally became popular. What song? Believe, Ice Ice Baby, Falling Into You, or I Will Always Love You. Ice Ice Baby by Vanilla Ice. It was the flip side to his cover of Play That Funky Music. Obviously, dinosaurs are gone, so what made the sounds for the T Rex in 1993's Jurassic Park? A rhinoceros, crying babies, a Jack Russell Terrier, or a litter of kittens? It was a Jack Russell Terrier. Scientists really don't know what dinosaurs sounded like. What was the most popular internet search engine in the 1990s? Yahoo, Ask Jeeves, AltaVista, or Google? It was AltaVista. Do you even remember that one? Founded in 1995, eBay was originally called what? Auction Web, Pez Place. E-Auction or Pierre's List? It was called Auction Web. It is not true that Pierre invented eBay to sell his wife's Pez collection. In 1997, the United States appointed its first woman Secretary of State. What was her name? Hillary Clinton, Condoleezza Rice, Madeleine Albright, or Ruth Bader Ginsburg? Madeleine Albright. What was the best-selling toy in 1999? The Barbie Dream House, Tickle Me Elmo, Cabbage Patch Kids, or various Beanie Babies? The Barbie Dream House. According to Mattel, Barbie is from Wisconsin, not California. How did people prefer to wear their jeans in the 90s? Torn, flared, acid washed, or cut off? Torn. No, torn jeans did not originate in the 2000s. During a 1992 interview about her husband fooling around, Hillary Clinton famously said, I'm not sitting here as some little woman standing by my man like who? Carrie Underwood, Tammy Wynette, Loretta Lynn, or Shania Twain. It was Tammy Wynette. She's considered the first lady of country. What massive building opened on August 11th, 1992 in Bloomington, Minnesota? The Mall of America. Target Field, the NEC Super Tower, or West Point Arena? It was the Mall of America. If you spent just 10 minutes in each store, it would take 86 hours to visit all of them. The Friends theme song, I'll Be There For You, remains very popular. 
How high did it get on the billboard? 1, 5, 11, or 17? Number 17. Ask any Friends fan and they will tell you that it was number one. Nope, not even close. All right, here's some more trivia for you. Let's see how you do. Go for it. 